Hey everybody, it's Killbot the Gamer here. Welcome back to our Dying Light walkthrough. This is part eight. Uh, I left you when we were still trying to find all the pipes and stuff to shut off the gas, but you know what? I decided I'm gonna just do it myself. Because I was having trouble with the Elgato. It was not recording. So I finally just said, screw it, and I did it while I was figuring out the computer problems. And so now, you know what happened? Good old Jeff, you know, I got the, the gas back on and that was good and everything, but it blew him up. So, what you gonna do? Well, now I'm gonna get the antizen back to the tower. Those people are waiting. Their lives are waiting for me. They're, they're depending on me. I'm coming, guys! Go. Hey Blake. They must cart. They can save your life. Uh, let's ride the elevator. Do you have the answers in? Yes, I do, beautiful woman. One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. Brecken. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call, and now we've lost the entire floor, including, including a couple of kids. Man, you better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lena. Brecken, I hate you so much right now. You want Anderson? No, I don't want Anderson. I just brought you guys some back. That's right. You better have some soft music playing, showing your mental anguish. That's right. Lives. This is where we get the announcements about the Anderson drops. And they just stopped. They were kept in there! I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. She should what be. What fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. No, not really. I mean, pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran. Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Oh, come on, quit your bitching. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Brecken, these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's got to be another way, a better way. Fine. I'll wait, but not for long. But no for long? Is this like a slang of British people? Like, no, no for long, man. Okay, so what do I do? So I like, look around the apartment? I'm guessing I leave. Finally, I get to do some actual good. On the roof, up on the rooftop, clickety click, chop a doop a doop a bow 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 bow. Yes, that's a Santa Claus song. Oh, wait, no, not gonna be alone up here. Raheem, Raheem, what are you doing up here? Oh, he's gonna commit suicide. He's drunk. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? He's a traitor. See that skyscraper? A scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives. Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Oh, you still We have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. Make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my. Ah! Don't drop me. Don't drop me. Oh, man. I should have dropped him. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team.
Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, that's impossible. Could melt through steel. We don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch, sit on my ass, and watch everything happen and do nothing. Well, then do something. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. This. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll get look. I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh, now he's all sad. <sighs> He's gone from happy drunk to sad drunk so quick. But it's time to go and make a call to the evil shadowy government organization that calls me its bitch. Come on, get up there. Oh. That's like, there we go. Hello, evil corporation. This is Crane, do you copy? Not at all. Reception's horrible. I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Rise's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldemir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen, and then... then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Awful. She's an awful woman. Strained with the ministry. Presuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. People are dying here. Yeah, this must take the fucking cake. You know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm going to take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Yeah. I've contacted GRE. Now I'm going to jump off the tower. No, I'm not. That would be silly. Silly, silly, Billy. Ouch! Jade, do you copy? Yes, I do copy. I'm clear. What can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If I love you. Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Oh, he just wants to marry her. That's what. Time to go down, people. That's what she said. Okay, oh. He looks angry. Hello, messenger. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Nope, Vulcan not at all. Dahl. Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond... Well, it's important to who? Don't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Darb would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated as you can. Probably be like four oh, packs right. of cigarettes. Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Don't think too long. Hello, Mr. Big Man. Oh, wait. Can I buy some stuff? Quartermaster. I need to buy a med kit. I'm not like 
paying any money for this stuff. I'm coming, Jade. I love you. I like to go over this fence in the corner for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> ah! I almost fell and hurt my bum. Can you hear me on this thing? Yeah, who is this? This is Tolga. And Fatim? We work for Mr. Dahl, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Tolga, don't, don't talk to him like that. Shut up, Fatim. Get off the radio. You don't make him mad, you idiot. Stop talking or I will punch you. Punch me? I'll kill you. Idiosyncratic, great. I'm probably gonna like regret this, cause let's face it, I mean, Jade is my love, and I don't know if I wanna betray her, or, like, you know, make her go last. Oh, that's where I need to go. Okay. Up we go. Hello, you two. You're doing sick of covering for you. Hello, guys. Are you Tolga and Fatin? Yes. How did you surmise that? Because I'm awesome. And you're twins. His brain processes information. We have a job for him. Quite right, Tolga. Remember, simple words only. Don't confuse him. We need to move some equipment across town. It's very heavy. How heavy? <laughs> Too heavy for you, Simeon Beast. Instead, we will propel it across the sky using heavy gauge zip lines. A brilliant idea, don't you think? Yes, it's brilliant. It Shut up. Idea. No, it wasn't. Just tell me what you need. Well, hooks, obviously. How else can we hang the equipment off the lines? You will find them at the train yard warehouses. Does he know what a warehouse is? Oh my goodness, these guys are... Not. Look it up, but be quick about it. This project is far more important than anything your proto-human cranial cogitator is capable of understanding. And don't try to figure out what it is. No, oh, heavens no. <laughs> You'd give yourself an aneurysm. I want to punch them really hard. Blueprints. Don't think I can get those. Okay. So basically, I need to go and get the hook. To do a chin's job. You mean an orangutan's job? Off we go to the train yards. Again. So I have to get down here somehow. Hmm. Oh, and there's like a big guy there. Yeah, I want to search the warehouse, but... Ah, oh, that's how. Could have been embarrassing. I tell. How do I tell how long this guy is gonna be? Like. Sure, he's heavy rebar. Take that. Open. 
need. This is it? That's it? That's what I got to... Man. Annoying. I gotta just avoided fighting all those guys. It's probably like nighttime out there now. Oh, I'm panting now. I'm out of breath. There they are. There's the douche nozzles. Have your hooks. Incredible. We have underestimated him. Well, we can hardly be blamed for that. Look at him. Are we done? You're done. We have work to do. And when we're finished, we'll leave some zip lines up for you. Yes, we know how you primates like to swing from the vines. Oh man, I really want to kick him. Okay. So basically I gotta meet my lovely fair lady. Just gotta find Jada first. Or Jade. Oh, come on. You know I was coming. Come here. You should see this. Something is going on at the school. Tyre's men have been hauling boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Great question. If it's Antizen. We need it. Yes, we do. You just want to push me down on the ground. She likes to play rough. Sexually. I'm speaking, of course. Are you telling me that school, like, like, laugh, learn, and there's huge brick walls around the school? Is that normal? Jade, where? Oh, shit. Impulsive. Wait, are they like, what are they doing? It looked like the guys there had their hands up. Run! Fucking to here. That guy should die in a fire. Yep. We. Fuck. Where'd she go? This is like old pirates where they like bury the treasure and then kill everyone involved in doing it. And that, my friend. I was gonna say that's her inside. I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground, and we'll make less noise moving separately. Take to kill these things. For what? 17 bucks. Not impressed. Oh, come on. Seriously? Another dead end. Okay. Shit. You'll have to come in the way I did. I just hope we can find another way out if we have to. Head for the outbuilding on the roof. Quiet 
expert to make it through the night. Stay safe, and we see you again tomorrow. Oh, I can get up here. Like, what? How am I gonna get an outbuilding on the roof? <laughs> These guys. At least he's dead. Oh, crap. You know what? I think this is where I'm going to end part eight, guys. I died, but I'm in a safe space right now, and I'm, go I'm okay with that. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you liked it. The video, I mean, I mean, obviously my voice is like gold and you like that. So give me a thumbs up and, a, and subscribe. I think they moved the button. It's like this just by my head or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's there. Do it. Click on it now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.